Bhagavad Gita, text 4.33 O subduer of the enemy, of the various sacrifices, that of wisdom is far superior to the sacrifice of material possessions. For whatever may be accomplished by action is realized in wisdom. Here, Krishna tells Arjuna that the inner elements of wisdom that serves as the proper orientation to sacrificial action is more important than the actual work of sacrifice itself. Work is ultimately about wisdom. That sacrifice that is directly involved with the culture of inner wisdom, Yajna, is better than sacrifice in which material ingredients are offered, dravya, mayat, yagyat, because the latter at best leads to the former. In the most generous sense, this verse tells us that psychological sacrifice of one's inner attachments is more valuable than merely giving up one's external positions. The pain involved in conscious, unmotivated giving to another, even if it involves very little in the way of tangible goods, brings greater reward than the sacrifice of great material wealth offered with a motive of personal gain. In chapter 3, Krishna spoke of performing one's prescribed duty with the spirit of detachment. In this chapter and in this section in particular, he takes Arjuna deeper. From the surface of dutiful conforming to the socio-religious norms in a spirit of detachment, we dive into activities that are directly involved with wisdom, sacrificial acts, yoga and meditation. The importance of inner wisdom being what it is, Krishna next speaks of the direct method of acquiring that wisdom and the means to sustain it. The implication is that there are many types of sacrifices or purificatory reeds, and one needs to find a wise person in order to understand which specific acts one should engage in and what the goal of such practice will be. What sadhana should one perform and what is the sadhya one will attain thereby? The answer to this question lies with the sadhu, Sri Guru.